So here's a video about how to grow from seeds. So let's hear the expert. <laughs> I'm not an expert. Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you two different ways of germinations, germinating this from seeds. And I'll tell you which one is the fastest way and probably most economical. So I, I bought some of these boxes, germinating boxes from seedling boxes from uh, Amazon. And then it comes with a cover like this. So you just put seedling soil in it and then you pour water, seeds, and then you cover it like this, right? This one, except I pulled the tag a bit higher, but if you see this one here, like it, it's right above. So the purpose of this is to create some heat and some uh, humidity so that way the seed germinate faster. And it's not bad actually, it, 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 certain seeds are pretty fast, but certain seeds are slower. So I also bought some uh, tag, name tag on this, so then I would write all of them. The good thing about this is plastic, but you can write on two sides, so that way you don't waste it. And, you know, next time, next uh, season, I'm planning to do is to, just to cross out the black, the black marker, use a different color, so that way you can keep reusing it until there's no more room to write. Oh, that's good. Uh, Yes, so that way you can save some money. You know, it doesn't cost much. It's a couple of cents of each for each one. Every dollar counts. Yeah. And also, uh, the good thing with this too is like each one is a little block. I used to use different containers and stuff like that. It's very messy. So this is a, a better way to organize your seeds. Mm. And you know exactly what you're planting. Here I got a bunch of different tomatoes. Uh, this one here is the big black uh, heirloom. This is yellow heirloom, pink heirloom, and big red heirlooms. Right. At what point do you have to, to transplant them? Oh, yes. when the, the, the frost is finished, then we're going to transplant it in the ground. But are before you gonna, that... Are you going to put it in a pot before? Yeah, before that, we're gonna, you're going to have to change it into like a bigger pot with the, the, the gardening soil because the, the bigger the pot you have, the, the yeah, healthier we'll the baby plants is going to be. I'm, I'm going to show you some of the plants I already put, but the tomatoes are not ready yet. So as you can see, we've got flowers, we got uh, zucchinis, I, I've got corns too. But uh, yeah, the bottom is just empty. Here's the uh, corns. Yeah, here's the corns. Uh, but the corns, I'll find a better way to do it because I find that this box, somehow it doesn't work too well with the seeds of the corn. What about the, the sun? What kind of sun do you need in the room? And Yeah, you don't need, uh, like, it needs a lot of sun, but it doesn't need direct sunlight while you while the seeds start growing because you have to keep in mind, these are baby leaves, so they're very weak. They, they, they don't, they don't, they can't stand the heat too much. So they need some sun, but they don't, they don't need direct sunlight. Once mm. uh, they start having uh, some true leaves, then you can put them in the sunlight. Okay. So the other methods that I try, I just want to see which one is the fastest because I used the other method last year. It was pretty fast. Mm -hmm. uh, this year I want to try something more organized, uh, you know, more clean. So, but at the end, I, I, I find that the cheapest way, it doesn't mean it's not as good. It's actually even better. So in what's terms the of other the way? So the other way you see here, there's a bag of wet uh, napkins that I put in this bag. Yeah. It's a block bag. Yeah. And then on each napkin I would write what seeds they are. Okay. And then you just soak them and you put the seeds inside. Like like you could see here. Mm -hmm. So that have, way... Can you open it? So we can yeah. Uh, this one here I just started. So I'm going to show you like the other tomatoes. That Maybe I have other tomatoes that already start coming out. I find this is the fastest way of doing it because uh, it germinates really fast. It's just, uh, it's a combination of uh, humidity and and uh, the heat. So this one you put in your brightest window, so that way it'll come out. You see a lot of this stuff is still okay. I'm gonna show you. This is cauliflowers. I think this is already germinating. I find tomatoes go grow really fast with that. Also zucchinis and all that. Uh, they grow super fast, even faster than the other one. And the germination rate is super high. You see here? This is it ready. It's ready to, to be put into those uh, little containers. How long does it take usually for it to come out? Uh, it depends on the seeds. Yeah. But uh, like, like I said, tomatoes, if you put it in the ground, it takes longer. 
Hmm. But if you put it into the little containers that I just showed you, it takes, uh, I don't know, four or five days, depends on and what how time. how wet does this have to be? It's pretty oh, wet. Oh, right? yeah, it's pretty wet. You just soak it. It's not, it doesn't need to be like dripping wa do you have water. To, do you have to re-soak it? Uh, if it goes dry, yes. Okay. But if not, no. And you just need one Ziploc bag for like a lot of seeds. <laughs> a lot of different seeds. Hmm. Here, this is broccoli. And let me show you... I believe this is zucchini. I didn't write on every one of them because I already started a munch already. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a sugar pea. I just put this like two nights ago and it's already germinating. Mm. That's so once you, once you start to see... Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, I put extra anyways. Once you start to see that it comes out, that's when you put them in these? Yes, that's when I start putting them in there. Okay. And, and this way is the cheapest way and... I mean the napkins way. It's mm. the cheapest and also it's... The, the germination rate is very high. What kind of soil do you use for this? Uh, for the ceiling is soil. This? I use this one. I might try something else next year because... I can't say for sure it's the container that, that uh, for example, corn did not sprout too well with the, the first method. The second method, the napkin method, like the germination rate is 100%. But okay. here's the thing, I don't know for sure if it's the box that is that makes the, the, the corn seeds rot when I try to germinate it, or it's the soil itself. Right. So next year I might try a different brand and see okay. if it's... Uh, it has a, it gives me a higher rate and a quicker germination but i would say this one here the germination is around 60 70 percent mm. but with the napkins it's like extremely high this you put it, you it just for the water so it doesn't drip onto the yeah, floor yeah so just to keep the house clean and as clean just as any possible any kind of plastic basically yes yeah. okay. so get any shells or whatever you have to work with so you you just need the sunlight that's okay. the important any other advice um uh, no, I think I think that's about it. I I mean, stick to the bag. It's the best. <laughs> yeah, it's the best method. Huh? Yeah, it's it's the best method. This my brother-in-law he showed it to me, and I really liked it. Mm. And it's really no hassle way of germination. This takes more work, but at the end you still need it. Yeah. Uh, but you don't have to use this box. If you have any other little pots, uh, chippy mm. pots and whatnot, mm. you know, use them. You don't have to spend more yeah, money. Yeah, like you can cut like this. I'll, uh, let me show you uh, the plants that we already uh, yeah, put into the Yeah, we have another box. video. We'll show you. Okay, so that's it. Ciao.